Hey everyone, this is just to take your right to repair guy and welcome back to the channel. So today we will see that how we can jailbreak the latest iOS 17.3 or 17.2 directly from your Windows machine and there is no USB or no ISO file required. This is the easiest way you can follow it if you are on Windows machine. And also we will review the latest version of the WinRain that is the WinRain 2.1 in that they have added some new updates regarding the iOS 17 jailbreak break and other fixes so i will just talk about that and show you how you can do that on your windows machine through the winrain latest version and same method goes for ios 15 and 16 older devices like iphone 6s to iphone x and for the ios 17 there are some ipad models that are compatible with this exploit so we will see that everything in the later part so now without further delays let's start this process all right now first you need to download the winrain latest 2.1 version for that you can go to my blog or you can check out the description link next you will get on this page here you can see all the winrain previous version and the latest version are available so you can see that this is the latest 2.1 version you can just right click and download it i've already downloaded this version on my desktop next you will get some other information like what are the changes in this new version and the latest change log is pelrain rootless mode now are compatible up to the ios 17 so they have added the support of the pelrain latest branch that is the version 2.0.0 beta 8 that we call the dusk version and also you will get the customizable ram disk option so that you can insert your custom ram disk file and also some fixes for the amd cpus and the drivers with a usb tk as a backend also now you can directly start the chill break in the dfu mode so no need to put in the normal mode and also they have removed the support for e6 32-bit chipset sock devices that working on the arm 7 architecture like iphone 5 5c and ipad 4 generation so these are all the change log in the latest 2.1 version there are some older version also available in this link that is the 1.1 1.0 2.0 so you can check the older version change log also i've uploaded all the screenshots of the change log as some devices like some older one are still more compatible and working good with the older version and also one recommended settings if you're using winrare or any other ram disk software make sure you disable your windows driver enforcement settings so that you can easily install the third party driver I've already discussed how you can disable that in my previous older videos of the WinRain or you can just go to my blog you will get the dedicated article or you can just google it there are lots of information available for the same topic. Now in the WinRain you will get the first feature that is the checkmate. You can put your device into the pawn DFU mode through the checkmate exploit or you can load the untrusted images as per the device model. So you can check the supported CPU architecture that is the A7 to A11 devices like iPhone 5s to iPhone X and for the older iPhone 5, 5c and iPad 4 that is the A6 devices they have removed the support with the checkmate. And the second feature is the check range 0.12.4 that is for the older iOS version from iPhone 5s to iPhone X, iOS 12 to the 14.8.1 and in the last you will get the Pelrain jailbreak. In that you will get two options, one is the rootful mode and another one is the rootless mode. For iOS 15, 16, iPhone 5s to iPhone X, you can install the rootless as well as for the rootful mode. But for the iOS 17 Checkmate iPads, you can only install the rootless mode for now as the Pelrain only support the rootless jailbreak for iOS 17 devices. But for iOS 15 and 16 older models, you can install both rootful and the rootless. And also they have added the custom RAM disk and custom overlay option to add in the device. And there is the force revert option so that you can revert back all the changes. And also they have option to fix the drivers and also you can install the USB DK drivers. You can check that box and you can easily install it in a single click. Or you can just go to the mega link. You will get the download links there also. So if you have any issues with the drivers, you can select that option and you can proceed for the jailbreak so now i got this ipad 6 generation that is running on the latest ios 17.3 or 17.2 both are supported so let me just connect it first and if it asks for the trust hit on that now on the pelerin option on the tool you will see by default it is selected the rootless jailbreak that means ios 17 only support the rootless mode you cannot select the rootful mode with ios 17 but if you connect the ios 16 
14 or 15 iPhone 6s to iPhone X devices, you can select both the mode that is the rootless mode as well as for the rootful mode. I have already made the video on the rootful mode as well as for the rootless mode for older iOS 15 and 16 devices. So you can check it on my channel. But for now, I will show you the iOS 17 rootless mode. So I will just connect it again. After that, you can proceed next. And if you face any drivers issue, you can click on the fix drivers option and take the USB DK drivers. And after that, you will see your iPad will go into the recovery mode. So just wait for that screen. So the next thing you need to put your iPads or iPhones into the DFU mode and if you don't know about the DFU mode instruction you can check it on the screen tool will help you to connect with the button combination so just press accordingly and after that you will see the jailbreak process has been started so do not disconnect your device wait for it to get complete and if you face any issues just reboot your device and restart the process check box the usb dk driver option and fix the drivers and then you can proceed and it will surely work Now in the booting and checking stage, you will see your device will be on with the Apple logo and you will see the Checkmate, Exploit and Pongo OS running on your device. So now it's the final stage, now it's done. Now you can close the WinRain tool and your device will take a reboot again. So let's see. So now the device is on. Now next connect with the Wi-Fi and wait for the Pelrin loader to appear on your home screen. It will take some seconds to appear so just wait for it. Now it's here. Now tap on it. Now you will see it's a loader and the type of the jailbreak is the rootless and you can see other information on your right side. On the left side you will see the default package manager that comes with a Celio and Zebra. You can install according to your need. So I will select the Celio. And if you want to install the Cydia in the Pelrin jailbreak, I have already made the video on that. But that only for the rootful mode for iOS 15 and 16, iPhone 6s to iPhone X. For iOS 17, currently there is no rootful mode, so only the rootless is available. But in future, if the Pelrin team will update the rootful mode in the iOS 17, then you can install the Cydia as well. Now the installation is done. Next, it will ask you to set the root password. You can set any password you want. Now go back and you will see the seal on home screen. Now open it. Now you can see we have successfully jailbreak our iOS 17 Checkmate iPads that is the iPad 6 generation and other iPad that support the exploit and you can update the required packages from the update section and after that everything looks good. So that's all for today's session. I've explained you each and everything and show you the practical process. If you want to download the WinRain, you can check out the description link and also please support this channel by subscribing it and if you like my content please hit the like button on this video as that motivates me for making the new content and i will see you in another video so till then goodbye take care and peace out